Hello my beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to talk about a topic that I get a lot of questions on which is should you declare your purchases to customs when you go shop abroad and you come back to the US? And I have to share an experience that I literally just went through last week because I just returned from Paris. I have so much eye candy for you it's not even funny some badass videos are coming your way. But guys I just went through the experience of declaring my items and going through customs which I have done before many times I declare all of my items but this time my people the customs agent knew exactly how much money I had spent in Paris and I did not tell anything to them I didn't fill out any forms my husband doesn't know how much money I spent in Paris okay so I was like I gotta make a video about this because obviously they are sharing information so these different countries are exchanging information in terms of your spending so when you come back to the US customs does know what kind of shopping you've been up to my friend okay so anyway let's get the story started because it's a story time so I just came back from Paris I did shopping I scored some Hermes okay we have an Hermes haul coming boo boo dream bag okay on the horizon and I come back from Paris through Atlanta the Atlanta Airport that was my first stop before I came to Orlando right so you know once you get off the airplane you walk and then you go to the passport kiosk typically some airports will have like an electronic kiosk where you answer a bunch of questions some airports you go straight to the kiosk where there is an actual agent to talk to you and that was the case with me in Atlanta there was no electronic kiosk nothing for me to fill out no buttons nothing you just went on the line and then you go to the line to the kiosk so I see the agent good morning good morning give me your passport so I gave him my passport no words exchanged he scans my passport and he's like do you have anything to declare and I thought that that was very interesting because guys I travel a ton okay every time I come back they have standard questions that they ask like was this a business trip or was this for pleasure uh, how long did you stay there right what did you visit did you go alone did you meet anybody there they are trying to figure out if this was a legitimate trip or if there's anything fishy going on and sometimes they'll ask do you have anything to declare they don't always ask that but I thought it was a little bit of a red flag for him to not ask anything especially considering that I was alone because I feel like when you travel alone they keep kind of like a bigger eye on you I guess there's higher chances you're doing something fishy you know like I don't know illegal substances stuff like that right when you are with your family I think the situation is a little bit different and I was like okay so I'm alone he didn't ask anything he only asked me one question you know so I felt once he scanned my passport something got triggered like he could see how much money I spent it's, it's what I think but anyway so I told him yes I do have things to declare so what happens is they typically flag another officer another agent so every time I declare they have like a little folder they'll put your passport inside that folder and then they'll flag another agent the agent will come in grab the folder and then you follow the other agent to like a backup area where there's typically a couple other agents there is space for them to inspect your suitcases if that's the case so anyway I go to the back you know to this other area where the agents are and we are talking with the agent he's like where are you coming from I came from Paris and then the agent says can you tell me exactly how you spent your xxx amount of dollars on what did you buy and I was like how the hell does he know how much money I spent I didn't tell anybody I didn't fill out any forms how did this man have this information okay I was shocked you guys not that I was intending on lying by any means I was gonna give him my VAT receipts but it was the first time that I truly had confirmation that other countries are giving customs our information in terms of how much money we spent abroad I mean it is a fact right that this happened somehow so anyway let me tell you how the rest of the process went so I told him I said hey my biggest painting were two bags because I actually scored two Hermes bags it was a good trip my people okay I told him I had scored two bags they were actually really really nice they are always very nice you know all of the agents I think they appreciate that you are being honest and he's like wow really these bags are this expensive I was like yeah so I told him how much money they were and it was funny because he even asked it's not a Birkin is it I was like well it's not a Birkin it's another bag that it's really hard 
just like the book. And he's like, well, don't give my wife any idea. So he actually knew about Hermes, you know, um, I asked him if he wanted to uh, inspect my bags. He's like, no, not necessary. Just give me your VAT receipts, which, you know, has everything there discriminated, you know, what you bought, what you spent. He asked me to see the bag just for fun, I think because he was curious. So he looked at my VAT form and he calculated how much money I had to spend in import duties. And typically, you guys, import duties are about 9%, okay, 9 to 10%. This is a general number because the amount of import duties depends on the type of item. It depends if it's jewelry, is it shoes, if it's the bags, the type of leather affects the amount of import duties that you pay, but it's typically around nine to 10%, okay? So you can be pretty secure that that's probably gonna be the worst case scenario for you if you are buying normal fashion things, right? So he did the calculation for my, VA, for my import duties, which was about 9% what I had spent. And then then they take you to another like cashier place where you actually pay. You can pay with credit card, which is what I did. And I went about my way to go home. And I was completely in shock that he knew ahead of time how much money I had spent. So let's talk a little bit about the whole process, right? So when I came back home, I started chatting with people on Instagram because I was in shock that they knew my spending. And I posted on my, Insta on my Instagram and started talking to my followers. And I have followers that work in logistics that deal with customs and customs across the world. And they started feeding me information and I learned so much about this. So anyway, if you are not following me on Instagram, you should because that's where all the action goes down real time because there is no editing necessary for Instagram, right? So it's Erica's girly world. So anyway, after all of the investigation, this is what I have concluded. Whenever you travel and you file for the VAT return, the VAT refund, that is triggering communication to customs in the US. So first things first, what is VAT? When you go to the European Union, for example, they charge their citizens a tax called the VAT tax. When we go to Euro the European Union as tourists, we do not live there. Therefore, we do not have to pay this VAT tax to the European Union government. So what they do is when you shop there, you can file at the store that you are shopping for a VAT refund. So they actually give you this money back because you're not a resident of the European Union. And that is typically around 12% of the amount that you spent. So for example, if you go to Louis Vuitton and you buy a bag, they will ask you for your passport and then they'll fill out a form for you. And then you collect all of the forms from all of the different stores that you went. So if you spend above 175 euros, I believe, you are entitled to get a VAT refund. So every store that you go shopping, you will give them your passport and say, hey, they usually already know and they'll say, hey, do you want the VAT refund? You say, yes, you give them the passport, they fill out the form electronically for you and then they give it back to you ready to roll. Throughout the course of your trip and your shopping, you just collect all of your VAT forms. When you go to the airport to go back to the US and you have to do this in the last country before you come to the US. So for example, if you are in Paris and then after Paris, you're gonna go to Italy. Well, Italy is part of the European Union. That means you don't do anything in Paris. You just collect all of your forms. You go to Italy, you do your shopping at the airport in Italy. When you are about to leave the European Union, that's when you would file those forms at the airport. So it's your last stop before you come to the US, okay? So when you get to the airport, I do this in Paris all the time. They typically already have an office for the VAT refund. They call it the D-Tax office. And you know, you typically go to the line. Uh, there is a little machine that you scan each one of your forms. So the forms come with a barcode. Everything is electronic now, super easy. So each form, you go on the machine, you click scan my forms. They have the little reader. You scan your form on the read and then either a green light or a red lights will show up. Typically, if the amounts are lower, I would say, I don't know, 500, 1,000, 2,000, maybe even $3,000, you will get a green light. What that means is you don't have to do anything else. Your VAT refund is approved. And if all of your forms were green light, you just leave. You keep your form in case you need proof for the future, but you just leave, go check in, go catch your plane, and that automatically gets refunded to your credit card. If you scan your forms and any of the forms come out red light, 
which is typically the expensive stuff like if you buy your miss bag six thousand seven thousand it's gonna be red i pretty much can guarantee you that then that means you gotta go to a different line and you actually have to show those items to the agent in that country in france in my case because they want to make sure that you are taking those those items outside of the country with you they want to make sure that you are not getting a refund and then leaving the item there maybe for a friend let's say you bought something for a friend and you're trying to help them get a discount right they want to make sure that you are going to take those items with you outside the european union right so you go to the other line so in my case i had several forms all of my forms were green except the Hermes form. So you only show the items for the form that was red. They don't care about anything that's green. So I went to the line. They asked to see my two Hermes bags that I bought. Okay, you're taking the bags with you. Let me see your boarding pass. So it's very important that you have your boarding pass with you when you go to the D-Tax line. Nowadays, you get your boarding pass on your phone. It's not a big deal. But if you cannot get it on your phone, you have to go check in in your counter for your airline, get a printed boarding pass, and then you go to the D-Tax office to get your refund, okay? So anyway, showed my boarding pass. I showed my two bags. Okay, you're good to go. See you later. So what I think is happening is when you are filing for this VAT refund, that amount that you that amount that you spend is getting connected to your passport and communicated to customs in the US. So the good old days of privacy are unfortunately gone and that is why I hate this globalized world that we live in. I hate this world where everything we do is monitored and all of our information is sent everywhere. Not because I'm not going to do things by the law, because I do, but I hate that I no longer have privacy. And I'm actually really scared of, you know, this new talk of a cashless world where cash is no longer going to exist. It's going to all be credit card or electronic currency because then we are really screwed. Because nowadays you can buy things in cash and that information stays with you. Nobody can trace that, right? To me, it's privacy. It's a good thing. We should all be against a cashless world. And you guys need to be in tune with what's going on in the world around us because these are important decisions that are going to affect us forever. Okay, so that's my plug. So anyway, what is happening is that process for the VAT, when you try to get your refund, they are communicating that to customs in the US. And as a matter of fact, through my community on Instagram, I found out that Global Blue, which is one of the biggest companies that processes VAT refunds, says it very open on their site that they do share your information with tax authorities, with customs agencies. So it is there right on their website for you to see, you guys, that whenever you file for that tax refund, that information is getting shared. Now, are you going to get stopped when you come to the U.S. by customs? Not necessarily, right? There's thousands and thousands and thousands of people coming in every day. They cannot afford, they don't have the time or the resources to stop everybody to inspect, even if they have the information on how much money you spend. So what I think happens is they stop the people that are spending a good chunk of change, okay? So the law is when you travel abroad, the U.S. allows you to buy $800 worth of stuff without having to pay import duties. So let's say you went to Paris, you only bought a pair of Hermes sandals that cost 600 euros. You're fine. You can claim your VAT return. 600 euros is less than $800. When you come here to the US, you don't have to claim, declare that at all or pay import duties at all because you have an $800 allowance. If you spend more than $800, then you have to declare and you have to pay import duties, which is about nine to 10%, right? I think if you spend a thousand to even three thousand dollars i think a lot of times they will not stop you because it's just too many people to stop okay so you might get away with not declaring but i think if you spend a good chunk of change like five thousand dollars or above your risk of being stopped is really really high 
So I always recommend that people declare no matter what, okay? No matter how much money you spend. If you spend above $800, I think you declare so you can bring your boxes back, you can bring your receipts back in peace. You don't have to hide anything. You can come back with peace of mind. And even when you pay import duties, guys, you are still winning because here's the deal. Things are cheaper abroad, okay? Especially Louis Vuitton and Hermes. They are the best brands for you to buy in Europe, okay? So it is way cheaper, sometimes 20, even 30% cheaper depending on the item. So you are saving a ton, okay, by buying abroad. And then you're gonna get 12% refunded to you, which is your VAT refund. If you pay import duties, yeah, you're gonna have to pay back nine, 10% worst case scenario, okay? And I'll talk more about that. Worst case scenario, you are still getting 3% back from the VAT refund, right? So you save a ton of money on the price, you get 12% back from your VAT, and you pay 9% to the US Customs. You still on the plus, my people. Still completely worth it for you to shop abroad. So I think it is not worth the risk. The other thing that you need to know about the clearing is, if you think that they're gonna stop you and just say, hey, pay me your duties that you owe me, well, that might not be the case. If they stop you and you didn't declare, they can charge you with a crime, they can charge you fines, and these fines can be thousands of dollars. I mean, I'm talking $4,000, $10,000. I have heard of $18,000 in fines. So don't think that if you are trying to dodge them, that is worst case scenario, they're just gonna charge the duties because that might not happen, you guys. And then if you have um, global entry, your global entry is revoked if you lie. I also talked to a follower on Instagram where she told me that she did get caught lying. So now they are flagged in the system and every time they come back from a trip abroad, they have their luggage inspected. I mean, how sucky is that, you guys? You know what I mean? To me, is literally not worth it because if you're gonna take the risk of bringing something in without the clarity, you cannot have the box, you cannot have the receipt, you cannot have any evidence that that stuff was bought abroad. And we know that in the luxury world, having your packaging, having your boxes, having your receipts, it's a big deal for resale value. It's a big deal to prove authenticity, right? So I like to have all of my stuff with me, even if it's just shoes, you know what I mean? The other thing you should know is that they might decide to inspect your luggage, right? Um, and if they are suspicious that you are lying, they have the right to not just look at your luggage, but look at your phone. So if you have photos of your items, if you have photos at the store buying the item, photos with your shopping bag, photos of the receipt, they have the right to look at all of that. Or if you send information through email, I am telling you, they really can inspect everything that you have with you. So. Think about the stress on top of it all, because I do know someone who did not declare and they got suspicious she had spent a lot of money and they looked at everything she had. She stayed in the airport for like five hours, you guys. Imagine you coming back from Europe exhausted, having to stay in the airport five hours with agents, digging through everything, interrogating you, looking through your phone. I mean, dude, not worth it, you know? I mean, Jesus, for a few hundred bucks or maybe a thousand bucks that you are getting refunded for from your VAT, I just don't think that the stress is worthwhile at all. Now, one thing you should know, another tip that I have for you is that Depending on the airport that you come back to, they might cut you breaks on your import duties. What happens is a lot of times the agents will appreciate that you were honest and that you declared your items and they will charge less than the 9%. So for Atlanta, it did not work well for me at all. They are very much by the book there and the guy charged me every penny of the 9% on my import duties. But my friend that traveled to me, traveled with me to Paris this last time, we came back separate because she lives in Miami. The airport in Miami, they only charged her 5%. So she got to keep the majority of her VAT refund, right? I have also come back through New York, through Philadelphia, you know, American Airlines comes back through Philadelphia a lot, and they all cut me breaks. You know, sometimes awesome breaks, like where I paid next to nothing, sometimes I paid 3% uh, import duties instead of nine. 
I think they should always give you a break. I mean, that's how I feel. Like, dude, come on. We work hard for our money. Our country has many bigger problems you should be worrying about customs, okay? Those of us who are honest, you should show a little token of appreciation and cut us a break, okay? Every time, all right? So just keep in mind that airports like New York, Miami, Philly, they might be a little bit kinder and they there are higher chances that you're going to get a break on your import duties. So keep that in mind for your trip. Talk to people. Talk to your friends that declare so you get a better scoop on which airports are the nicest. But chances are you're probably going to get at least a little bit of a break and you're going to save some money. So anyway, this is my two cents. I think if you are traveling abroad, if you're buying expensive things abroad, declare your stuff, come back legally, bring all your goodies with you with pride, all of the packaging, the receipts, the boxes. If there are any other questions that you have regarding this process, please leave a comment in the comment section below because then I will utilize your questions to make a new video talking in more detail if there are any areas that you still have doubts on. So that's the scoop, my people. I came back with my two Hermes bags, very happy with all my boxes. I'm going to be unboxing them soon. Thank you so much for watching, you guys. I really appreciate you taking time off your busy day to hang out with me and I'll see you on the next video. Love you. Bye.